morning! In this video, we are going to make a liquid fertilizer and a granulated fertilizer for your indoor plants and your outdoor plants. You can use this for both. This is going to be a pet safe or dog safe fertilizer that is going to enhance your plants, enhance their life, and also be safe in case your dogs decide to go ahead rummaging through or your cats want to sleep inside your plants. So let's get started. The banana peels are great because once you eat the banana, the banana peel is actually filled with potassium and phosphorus, which are two of the major components that make up your natural fertilizers. Now the thing you're gonna do with this is once the banana peel is peeled, make the tea, which look, if you can see this beautiful golden color, this has been floating in filtered water for roughly 24 hours. So this is, I put this in yesterday, it's been almost a full 24 hours now, and it's turned to this beautiful color. To do this, all you have to do is put them in water. The water will naturally have kind of like a tea, like a steeping effect with the banana peel, and the phosphorus and the potassium will naturally leach out or steep into this water. And then when you're done with that, all you're going to do is just pour it into either a sprayer or some kind of pitcher compartment. So if you make a lot of it, you might want to have something that you could save in the refrigerator. This should keep if it's refrigerated for about a week, so it's not going to be something you're going to store for months. And you can also just use it kind of on a weekly basis with your pitcher. Most of the plants you're going to spray a regular weekly watering cycle. So if you did have too much of this, you can technically freeze it in ice cubes and then go ahead and use those if you wanted it to last longer. And I'm going to show you what to do with that. To get this beautiful golden tea, you're going to take your banana peel, wrap it around, and then just plop it in there. It's so easy. <laughs> And again, your dogs or your cats even can go ahead and hang out in the plant and enjoy their beautiful pet garden without any chemicals being added. And so you'll see the difference. So this is right when it starts out and when it gets that beautiful golden color, you'll know that it's done. Now to transfer this, use a funnel and I'm going to pour it into a spritzer. Now these little tiny roses, they can handle a good dose. So you can just spray the roots or the leaves and they will absorb it just like they would with rain. Or you can go ahead and pour it in like you would any other watering with your plants. And then just let them enjoy that. So this is your banana tea. Super, super simple, super easy. And if you're already eating bananas, then <laughs> why not use the peel? Now at this point, what you can go ahead and do with the peel, because a lot of the actual nutrient value has gone ahead and gone out of that, is just put it into your compost bin or your bi-weekly yard waste pickup, and that's okay. The next thing we're gonna make is your beautiful, earthy banana fertilizer. Now this is a granulated fertilizer, and if you can see that, it actually smells amazing. When I bake this in the house, we, my whole family agrees that it smells really, really good. Almost like you want to turn it into a copy. It smells absolutely wonderful. And so the simple way to do this is take your banana peels, let them sit out so they start to brown naturally a day or two. Or if you want to kind of speed up the process, you just bake them in the oven. So I baked these on 350 for about an hour. Now I check on them about every 30 minutes and sometimes I will flip them over, but what you want is this beautiful, dark, sort of rich, black, deep earthy brown color. And you'll notice that they're very crunchy to the feeling. So I can literally break these apart. What you're going to do with these is super simple. You're just gonna dump them in your food processor or your blender. Going to blend. So we're gonna start with low and go to high. And what you get is this amazing granulated fertilizer. And if you're starting out with organic bananas, now you have a beautiful organic fertilizer that your pets can hang out around, that don't have any chemicals in it, that they can enjoy their actual pet garden and not get sick from. And this is what it will look like when you're all done this beautiful sort of soil rich earthiness. Now here's what you do. You're just going to take a handful or a spoonful and you're going to mix it into the soil. So I'm going to bring my, my plant that's <laughs> going to 
going to take a fork, dig up your soil a little bit and start to sprinkle this in to the soil all around. Pour regular water onto it, it'll naturally have sort of a time release effect to it. If you have a plant, for instance, this one is showing it's winter, so it's starting to show a little signs of dehydration up here. I would recommend using your tea first because it's going to absorb into the root structure better. And that is how you make a wonderful, earthy, beautiful, pet safe fertilizer for your home. Again, you can use this indoor for your indoor plants. You can also use this outside for your outdoor plants. Now, I have seen quite a bit of information about just putting banana peels straight into your garden. The reason why you don't want to do this, obviously, for your indoor garden or your outdoor garden is because it does attract bugs. Plus, it'll create a mildew as it starts to biodegrade. The banana peel is going to take a while to actually break down fully. And so even in a compost bin, so you don't want to just take the pieces, slice them up and put them in your soil or go ahead and turn it into a beautiful tea and then to put this into the yard waste bin. I hope this is really helpful. If you are looking for more gardening tips for your dogs and for your cats, specifically creating a pet garden, check the link down below. We have a wonderful resource that is all about creating an edible scent garden for your dog, both inside and outside or both. I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you in the next time.